Hey kids, shh, I'm trying to be really quiet. In fact, could we turn the lights down too? Shh, I don't want anyone to know that I'm talking to you. You know, some of my other friends, they might not like that I'm talking to you. Shh. Ha, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that to you. I love getting to talk to you. But that is a lot like what happened in our Bible story. There was a man named Nicodemus. Nicodemus had heard about Jesus. Jesus had been teaching about God and doing amazing miracles. Nicodemus knew that Jesus must have been sent by God. Nicodemus wanted to talk to Jesus, but there was a problem. Nicodemus was a Pharisee and the Pharisees did not like Jesus. Nicodemus didn't want the other Pharisees to see him talking to Jesus. So Nicodemus waited until nighttime when it was dark and then he went to see Jesus. Shh. Nicodemus started talking to Jesus and right away, Jesus began saying things that confused Nicodemus. Jesus said, what I'm about to tell you is true. No one can see God's kingdom unless they are born again. Born again? What did that mean, Nicodemus wondered. So he asked Jesus, How can someone be born when they are old, Nicodemus asked. Then Jesus started talking about the Holy Spirit. Being born again had something to do with the Holy Spirit. But Nicodemus still didn't understand. How can this be, Nicodemus asked. Nicodemus knew what was written in the Old Testament of our Bibles really well, and Jesus knew that. So Jesus reminded Nicodemus about something that had happened to Moses and the Israelites. We can find it way back in the book of Numbers. The Israelites had disobeyed God and gotten themselves into big trouble with a bunch of poisonous snakes. Blah! People were getting bit and dying. They told God that they were sorry for disobeying and asked him for help. God then had Moses make a bronze snake and lift it up on a pole. Anyone who was bit by one of the poisonous snakes could look up at the snake on the pole and they would live. The people deserved punishment because they had disobeyed God. But when the people trusted God and looked up at the snake like he told them to, God took away the punishment. Jesus told Nicodemus that just like that snake was lifted up on a pole so that the people could live, that Jesus himself would be lifted up like that so that people could live. We find out later that Jesus was talking about dying on the cross. Jesus was going to die on a cross so that everyone who believes in him could live. Jesus died and took the punishment that we deserve for all the wrong things we've done. He died so that we could be forgiven. But Jesus didn't stay dead. He came back to life so that we could have a new life, a changed life, a forever life. When we choose to love and follow Jesus, we get filled up with the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit changes us and makes us new and helps us to live in a way that honors God and shows that we love him. And that's what it means to be born again to believe in Jesus and be forgiven, to be changed by the Holy Spirit and made new, to be able to honor and love God with the way we live our lives. Our Bible verse today is probably one you've heard before. If you know it, say it with me. John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. In our Bible story today, Nicodemus had some hard questions for Jesus. But Jesus isn't afraid of hard questions. Questions are actually a really important way to get to know someone. It's good that Nicodemus wanted to know more about God. Jesus isn't afraid of hard questions. We can always ask him our questions. When we ask Jesus questions, that shows that we want to know more about him. We want to get to know him better. We want to know what he is like and how he wants us to live. And that is a really good thing. When we have questions about God, that shows that we want to grow to know him more. When you have questions, 
You can pray and ask God. Remember to get quiet and listen too. And you can read your Bible and learn what he's told us. He answers so many of our questions right in our Bibles. And you can ask wise grown-ups that you know who follow Jesus. God has given us people in our lives who can help us learn. Sometimes you will have questions that we don't get to have the answer to yet, and that's okay. Maybe it's something we'll find out when Jesus returns and brings God's kingdom and makes the whole world perfect again. But even if it is a question that we don't get an answer to right now, that doesn't mean that it's wrong to ask. Jesus isn't afraid of our hard questions. He loves it when we want to get to know him better. Keep asking questions and keep listening to Jesus for his answers.